super gloomy, rainy day here in Chicago, Illinois. But that's not gonna stop old Corey and Sean from doing another food review. Today, the Smack and Cheese Burger from Smash Burger, they put mac and cheese on the flat top and then smash it down, put cheese on it, and add that to a burger. We're gonna have that today, and then also, if you're a fan of the show, and you love merchandise, today, for everyone watching this video, the Eat Local design is now available, and a hat, and a shirt, and a zip up. Snag that if you wanna support the show. Hilarious, you know, we're talking about it on a, on a, a franchise video, but we eat a lot of damn local on this show, <laughs> so you know we support local. We upped our local videos during the pandemic to focus on Chicago, but we'll, we'll, we'll appease a lot of you guys that want to see us do the national stuff. So today, Smash Burger. Yeah, for the after, Sean, I see it right there on the back. Can I see it? Oh, you gotta see it. It's the, one of the only places that has ever asked to see proof that I ordered it because people have been stealing orders. <laughs> All right, in that bag, two, you got the mac and cheese, you got the burger, put them together. Two of those in that bag acquired jump cut. All right, before we get underway here, this is the single $8.99 per burger. And then the fun part, the Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's see what we got. This is a wild one. Oh, wow. They really tuck it in nice. Yeah. Oh, interesting bun. I don't think I've seen that type of bun before. And then we open it up. And there's the mac and cheese, and then there's a smash burger buried under there. I'm not gonna lift this mac and cheese up to show it, but there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Innovation. It's exactly what you'd think it would look like. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, limited time only smash burger, smack and cheese burger. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. What do you think? Pretty good? Decadent. I a lot of cheese. I mean, a lot of cheese. It's a lot of cheese. I don't think I'm trying to think of it ever in my life have put like a baked mac and cheese on a burger. I don't think I have. Now is this idea genius, lazy, or both? <laughs> <laughs> it might be both on mm -hmm. this one. I mean, yeah, a lot good. of cheesy flavor. Yeah. My worry was if the mushiness was gonna get weird, but mm -hmm. it doesn't. I'm, I don't notice the the mac the macaroni noodles. I'm gonna try one by itself. I was curious, like I know it's marketed as they put the mac and cheese on the griddle and put the cheese down and kind of do that and it's supposed to caramelize and make a whole mm -hmm. like, that's in the description, like it's supposed to make this crispy cheese. I don't really think mine has a crispy cheese. No, I do think they do that. I don't know if you can see right there. Yeah, you get a little bit of that caramelization. But okay. I'm not getting like, when I'm eating it, I'm not getting it, I have to hunt that down with my eyes. No. This burger though, will be so good with Sixer sauce. Mm-hmm. Sixer sauce, so good on mac and cheese, so good on burgers. I mean, do the math. It's gonna be great on this. This would be a hangover burger. Oh yeah. Soak up some of your booze. Drip, drip, drip. Bye. We got the mild. Right now in the store, we got fresh bottles of both. Mild and hot. So if you wanna try our hot sauce, the number six for cheese hot sauce, snag some. Mm. Yeah. Mm, mm. That makes it so much better. So much better, and the flavor is way more diverse now. Mm-hmm. This has like ketchup and mustard and honey and black pepper and garlic, all that in it. Sup. Very good. The one uh, caramelized bite there. <laughs> that was really good. It'd be so awesome. And this will be another one. Because it's a chain restaurant, it will vary so much location to location. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. If you got the whole thing crispy and crunchy and cheesy, like if you know someone at Smash, your Smash Burger location, you're going to be loving this, I feel like. I almost wonder if the noodles are like, like a waste of calories. Yeah. And you can just get that cheesy, like whatever the mac and cheese sauce is. Almost like a nacho cheese in a way. Yeah, basically it's just like milk water in a packet. Yeah, right? milk or water. No, just milk. Milk uh, in that cheese packet. Right, the cheese packet. That'd be great. That's such a good idea. Oh, just do the cheese packet. <laughs> That's a good point, because you'd still get the flavor profile. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm getting a bite where I'm going, ooh, al dente noodles. <laughs> And then beef, you know what I mean? It's I like really it for the, the fun of it and the visuals of it. Mm -hmm. but I agree. How do you feel about nine bucks? Nine bucks? I mean, because I've never seen it before, if I'm one of those people who's like, I'm gonna try something new, uh huh, worth it. Mm -hmm. Is it worth it as like a 
everyday meal? Probably not. Probably not. It's actually surprising more places don't do that. It's not, I mean, macaroni is notoriously one of the cheapest things to make. Yeah, that's true. And the marketability of this sandwich, this burger, is so simple. Like, it just sounded like a no-brainer for the show. Yeah, it was a low-key brilliant move on their part. Smashburger has been coming out with a lot of new stuff recently. I think they're very good about rotating the menu and doing limited time only items like every quarter. Yeah, I'm They've impressed. seen to have really never dropped the ball on that. Uh -uh. All right, before we rate this and talk about it, we want to give some super thanks shout outs. These are people that click the thanks button on number six with cheese, donate directly to the channel on the videos. We got Jim McFarland, Sam Bliss, Megan Jeffries, Derek Boudreau, Derek Boudreau, ooh, Paul J Vlogs. Whoa, Paul J Vlogs. Um, Derek Boudreau, Jim McFarland, Jim McFarland, Sam Bliss, Derek Boudreau, one of my faves, Nancy Remling. Thank you so much for doing that, you guys. You always get a shout out when you donate to the show. You guys make this possible. So uh, enjoy the shout out and uh, hope the rest of the day goes great. But we gotta get into the food right now, uh, the analyzation portion, <laughs> portion of it. Genius, genius! Do you write your poems with a crayon, Deeds? Let's break it down, then we'll rate it. Corey, you're up first. Real quick, before I get into my breakdown, I do want to let everybody know we're going to open a package at the end of this video. So yes. Stick around. I will be there. After my breakdown, uh, I, I said this during the video, it's, it's something I've never seen before. I think that's really cool. I think that makes the price kind of bearable. It's still tough. If it's not your thing, I get it. Skip it. Um, the cheese flavor did come through. The macaroni didn't really like put too much of an indent on my thought process on this, no, but right. all in all, pretty, pretty okay. I think like this, the item was exactly what it's marketed as. Yep. It's a big, like kind of just meaty, cheesy, it's ridiculous. It's a, it's one of those items that you're adding sides to a burger, you know what you're getting yourself into. Did the restaurant do it correctly? Yes, they did. <laughs> yeah. um, so nine bucks, like I said, so uh, now Alex Trebek cranked that from heaven, and we're gonna rate it out of five. Here we go. Nine bucks. That's kind of a tough one. I actually know what I'm gonna go with. It was really good. Yeah, it was really good. I just think I went a little, a little high. I probably went too high too, but I really did like it. There was really, I didn't have much to say about it. It was bad. All right, cut it off. On the count of three, Corey, are you ready to reveal your score? Yes, I am. One, two, three. Bang! So close. We are, we are neck and neck, huh? Three, eight, four, oh. That's an average score of three, nine on number six of cheese today, if you like math. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. You hear a lot of YouTube channels say it, but we love interacting with you guys. We, we appreciate it so much that you're here. Um, come back every weekday. And then today, to comment with you guys, you can leave a comment on Facebook or YouTube. We will absolutely interact with you. What is another side item or another comfort food like that? that you could put on a burger that would be unbelievable. Like for example, like mozzarella sticks. I don't want to tell you what to put, but maybe you've got something that you would really love to add to a burger. Drop that in the comments. We'll put ours and we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode. Whether it's live, whether it's pre-recorded, we're here for you. So thank you for being here. See you guys. All right, Corey, one of the bigger packages we've, we've opened in the car in a while. Is that possible? I got, oh, yeah. I got optimism. Here we go, nicely done. Ooh, we've got pockets. This is the part of the show where we open up packages from fans or brands or both. This is clearly a Walmart box and it's uh, addressed to Sean Wagner. Yeah, that's right. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Good to know that you took my last name. I would absolutely take your name and be honored to do it. Get that down for the people. All right. Oh my. Oh my God, a pizzazz. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's so funny. That's a big boy present. So for those of you who don't know, on screen right now, you're seeing what a pizzazz is. It's one of those things that kind of goes in a 360 motion and it cooks your pizza for you, like your frozen za. Yeah. I don't see a note, Corey Wagner. I mean, oh, no. Corey Ely. Damn, I really want to know who sent this. But you think people, when they get married, 
exchange last name? I'm not 100% sure how it works yet. <laughs> <laughs> From Walmart.com to Sean Wagner. Somebody sent this well, thanks, clearly. Sam Walton. Thank you so much <laughs> for sending this. Uh, right here is the address. If you want to send us stuff to the show, we open it on camera. We always appreciate it. Uh, we love food. We love cameras. We love vlogging. We love Chicago, if you want to know a few things we love. Uh, we'll see you guys soon for another one. Thank you so much, whoever sent this. Hey, show who you are if you sent this yeah, to Yeah, comment. Us. Comment. And don't take credit for it if you didn't. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>